I'm Brian Parsons. It was championship Saturday in high school football. Two area teams each trying to bring home the trophy. And we began in Group 6A. Undefeated Oscar Smith trying for its third title in seven years against Westfield from Chantilly. Nathan Epstein covered the game and he joins us from Charlottesville. Nathan. Well, it was one of the most memorable seasons in school history for Oscar Smith. Somehow they fought and found their way here to Scott Stadium in Charlottesville to take on a 13-1 Westfield team for the 6A championship. And together, these two teams produced maybe one of the most memorable title games in Virginia history. Oscar Smith arm in arm, 13 and 0, trying to cap a perfect season with a title, but they're down 14 to nothing in the second quarter. Sean Mitchell to Khalid Perry refuses to go down. Look at the moves, loses a shoe at the end of it, but gets the touchdown to make it 14 to 7. Game tied at 14 with 41 seconds left in the half. Raymond Johnson lobs to Tyler Scanlon, 30 yards. Bulldogs take a 21-14 lead to the locker room. Third quarter, Tigers in more trouble. Johnson, nifty moves of his own, stretches. Refs say touchdown, so the Tigers down 14 again, 28-14. So Coach Richard Morgan reaches for the trick play. Hand off to Shelton Hood, perfect pass to Larry Chapel. 55 yards, Tigers back to within seven. And fourth quarter, they tie it up on defense. It's Kalik Perry with the fumble recovery. 89 yards, game tied at 28. Tiger fans all hyped. And with the final ticks of regulation, it's overtime that will decide a champion. Both teams score in the first overtime and in the second overtime. Courtney Johnson, his second touchdown of the night, gives the Tigers their first lead. A defensive stand away from the title, but Westfield ties it at 42. And here, Timothy Beard, his third touchdown, gives the Bulldogs a 49-42 lead. Fourth down for Oscar Smith, their last chance. They need a touchdown to force a fourth overtime incomplete. 49-42 the final. Westfield is the 6A champion. Mitchell threw for 369 yards, but the Tigers come up just a little bit short. Somebody had to lose tonight, and uh, Westfield's a great team too. And they just made one more play than we made. And um, so my message to my guys is pretty much the same as it is every week. I love you, you played hard. You um, left it all on the field. You represented your, yourself and your families well. And um, you know, I couldn't be any more proud of her. I mean, if we had scored one more touchdown and one, I'd still be I'd be just as proud of them then or as I am now. In Charlottesville, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Track. Well, a tough break for Oscar Smith. Thank you, Nathan. Now in the 4A state title game, Lake Taylor from Norfolk trying for back-to-back -back state championships. The Titans had won 29 games in a row heading into today's game against Salem from Salem. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a rematch of last year's championship game. Lake Taylor down 14, but the Titans come back. Tyree Cuey to JT Wahi for the 12 yard score, but Lake Taylor still down 14 to seven. A little later, Huey going to keep it from five yards out, coasts in for the score, and we are all tied up at 14. And like the Oscar Smith game, we're going to overtime, and then to double overtime. Fourth down play, Titans go for it. Wahi cannot hang on, and the Salem Spartans don't waste any time. They kick the field goal on first down, and Nate Kraft slips it in from 27 yards out. Salem wins it 17 to 14 in double overtime to win the 4A state championship, ending Lake Taylor's bid for a repeat and snapping the Titans 29 game winning streak. 